trailed in the second half, scored 17 unanswered. And bowl games and Greg Schiano's first tenure here. Schiano into something kind of a staple. He won bowl games in five of his last seven years. We were record for last year, their first in a decade. It was a big one over Miami and Yankee Stadium. Well, they're on the right track. They definitely are there. Welcome so, back to the SHI Stadium. Now, we're going to just go. Oh, keep going. Keep going. Oh. Wow. Wow. We're in the red zone. Oh. And that's the marching band over there. Down into the red zone. He is now the 16th player in Rutgers school history to go over 2,000 rushing yards. Fantastic career that he's had. And that's uh, first and 10. It'll set up a first and goal, but all this set up thanks to the run from an up guy. They're going very up. They're going fast. And they jump, they jump. David Siegel, our referee, conferring. The previous ruling of a completed catch is under further review. Well, they say play. that the officials called from the replay booth to take a look at this before they jumped up with a false start. Because he, he jumped. Definitely jumped. David Siegel said that they were whistled down from the replay booth before to check whether or not this is a catch here by Dimeer Miller. Now remember, this is new this year. All replays will be decided at the Big Ten replay center in Rosemont. Wow. So they whistle it down from the field here, and then they check it in Rosemont. And that is exactly where they will find out whether or not this is a completed catch or not. Rosemont facility. Is it a gorgeous? It is. Okay, so there's a catch. He's down with his knees. That's a catch. Yeah, that's a catch. Well, I think the other thing, too, Matt, because where his knees were and where the ball was, did he have the first down? That's the other part, because on that angle, it looked like the ball is around the seven. Well, they're saying the first down marker was at the six. Yeah, okay, so that's completely different than if it's a catch. The completed the catch and was down, the ball short of the line of the game. Third down and one. Uh, exactly what we just said. What? Wow. He is short of the first down. So it will be third down here for Rutgers instead of first wow. down. Wow. Larry Scott's wondering why the false start didn't happen before the replay. <laughs> Now, this is this is the time when this offensive line has to get has to be has to have power right here. You gotta win this push. Everyone pushing, including Manungai from behind. They're still pushing. Over there on the side, but he looked like but the official from the far sideline came in and where it was going to be a first down. Howard's players are putting their four fingers up, but no, it is, in fact, a first down. This is what you want. It's all about leverage. Low, low man wins, right? That's that's football. Kaliak manages it. Pick up that first down, sets up first and goal. Charlotte Knights have scored a touchdown on the defense. The offense trying to get on the board for the first time this season. 
at the plate block. He's down to two. What a move by Alex Gibson. He's working his way to the goal line. And he's just short at the one. He turned a play that Wow, he's just short at the one. Wow. Cut right there at the start of, the, of his run. And Man. And wow. Because the inside was taken away. Really well done. Now, this is all with vision, too. Boom. Right there. And then he has the power to be able to run through a tackle, get it down to about the what, two yard line, one and a half, maybe. He's tough. He reminds me so much of Isaiah Pacheco, his former teammate here a couple of years ago, now in Kansas City. But outstanding run. Once the yards after contact, that always gets you two. He gets the ball again. He bounces off of one and cannot get there. Good hit. Holland made the first hit. Gallup came in to clean it up, and it'll be third down and goal. That's a nice job. You know, watch this right here. And, and nobody's on him, so you, he has to make that hit, right? He's clean. Clean man's got to take the shot, and he does. Really well done. Matt, are you thinking two plays in the end zone here from the two? I would. Remember, Rutgers does not have any timeouts left. Took their final timeout of the first half with 10.50 to go. Elliott has to the air. Hey! Touchdown, Rutgers! Touchdown, Rutgers! Wow. 